That's right, ladies and gentlemen. It's Don't You Cry Day Fridays. So let's go ahead and do a little bit of Seven Nights. Starting with some Guild War. Season 4. Now it's the Dragon Seven Knights versus Nuke. We are both 6-6 six and six and we'll see what happens. We've already had a couple of our uh, guildmates attack already. Uh, looks like 3 so far. So let's see how well we can do today. Okay, it's a pretty close fight so far. Probably not have attacked on either side. We're winning 18-16. to 16. In our last match we ended up losing, which I was a little surprised because we were winning by quite a bit if I don't if I recall correctly, but well, it happens. So looking at the progress, you know, so far everybody has perfect wins. Wow, all three coins. All right. On their side, uh, looks like they're actually struggling a bit. This gives us a little bit of an edge, so I'm completely cool with that. All right. So let's see who we have to fight. <clears throat> now. Take a look at the new restricted list. Yeah, it's actually bigger now. There's no Spike, no Jave, no Gippering, no Ace, and no Delons, which does affect me because I typically run Delons. So I did have to change my team a bit, and we'll go over that shortly. I'm going to take a look and see who's the number one person. Just curious. Alright, he's running Rudy. Black Rose, of course. Lubu at 36, Aline at 36, and Wukong at 40. I'm um, pretty sure I would not win that fight with the team I currently have. So basically, my team at the moment, we are currently looking at Black Rose. We're looking at <clears throat> Zhu Liang, we're looking at the Chao, we're looking at Alice, and we're looking at Neza. So... Nothing as far as, like, you know, any real strat. It's just, you know, some decent heroes that are currently level 40. But this person's got quite a few 40s, especially 4 Nords and 7 Knights that I'm probably not going to be able to beat. We'll take a look at the number 2. So you got Yu Shen. This is actually his classic uniform. He hasn't even tried updating it. Lubu, of course. Uh, Baylong. This is the guy I've been telling you about who was the very first character to ever have an auto-revive that makes him invincible. Of course, you have Evan. And you have Chris. So, this is a team that um, I might have a chance of winning. The fact that they have Evan just means that everybody's going to have, you know, high defense. But, um, mm, it's, it's going to be more of an annoying fight than anything else. Uh, looking at the number, well, three and four has already been beat, apparently. Take a look at five. You have a level 34 Rachel. You got a level 32 Lubu. A 30 Karma. A 34 Evan. And a 40 Yushin. This is a team that I actually think I should be able to three-star. That's why I'm going to try it. I was just looking for someone who didn't have an auto-revive person on their team. That was actually a somewhat high level. Oh, this is their number nine. I thought that was number five. Hold on, let me see if I can find their stronger people first before going to the weaker ones. All right, so number five. Let's see. Level 40, Yu Shen. We got level 36, the Chao. Level 38, Black Rose. Level 36, Ming Ming. And level 30, Boo Boo. I think I can three star this guy too, to be honest. So let's give it a shot. We're against Koziak. Everything is a 
So he's about to have the Chow gets rid of all his auto revive abilities. They're actually doing a lot better against me than I thought they would. Despite the fact that all my people are level 40, that doesn't seem to matter. Their team just seems to be much better, apparently. I probably should have considered someone other than Yu Shen, because he just died in the very beginning. Lesson learned. actually lose, ladies and gentlemen. I'm a little worried, not gonna lie. So, so much for three starring one with them. <laughs> that was horrible. <laughs> yeah, we got one coin, not star coin. I'm thinking I'm playing Heroes Charge or something. Alright. So, that fight didn't go well. Let's take a look at the number six person. Alright, that's going to be too easy, and I'm not going to fight him. Okay, I don't mind fighting people who have level 32, 36 people, but when they only have two people on their team, like, that's just too easy. Uh, it's better to let one of the lower level people take that one down. Um, but this time, we got Bay Long, who I'm not going to fight against. Actually, you know what? Forget it, I will. I'm not going to avoid the auto-revive people. I have people that can deal with it, like the Chow, so... We'll fight this, t this team. So they have Baylong, they have Yushen, they have Mao Song, they have a spot out, something you don't see very often. And you have Lord Chris, who is a Seven Knight, of course. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and fight it. It's basically a uh, Broke Man's Gipperang, which is Baylong, and then Chris. So we still have the semi Chris Gipper, or yeah, Chris Gipperang team, just replaced by Baylong. Wow, RNG at its finest for this person. Starts off with a move that gets rid of our cooldown, which means they can keep doing other active skills. It's like the game's trying to let them win. <laughs> but yes, today we decided to actually fight tougher opponents for Guild War. Just because, you know, you want to you wanna actually see what the top players are doing in each guild. So I figured I'd help you out. Plus, sometimes I can find some unique teams even in the top. So I got that death sentence. But oh no, getting healed. So not only are we healed, we get rid of the status effects. That's part of why I like Alice. There's the Chow, auto killing by long. Cause she don't care about auto revives, who does she? Nope. Now Chris is an auto revive form. The uh, Chow's already used her ability for now, so it's probably not going to happen for a while, but Black Rose doing hers, which means Chris will be dying shortly. They're doing much better, by the way. Alice did not care. <laughs> I love it. 
She's busy and doesn't care. <laughs> there we go. It should be a three coin. Are you really weaker than me? And there we go, three coins. And if you look at the bottom, it shows that I earned 50 honor. Basically, if you fight their top players and beat them, you get more honor. Whereas if you fight people that are in the lower ranks of the guild, uh, you get a little less armor, honor if you win. That's pretty much what that is. It kind of is a way of trying to encourage you to fight stronger teams. Uh, but there you have it. We got our two fights in for this guild war. Uh, currently winning 22 to 16. Of course, there's still a long way to go for this to end. We've got lots of people that can go back and forth and attack. Uh, but I'm confident that we'll get this one. Uh, this one won't slip away like the last one. Alright, so now that we've gotten that completed. Let's see if we have anything to do in the world boss. I don't think we do. I think we're still on a cooldown period. Oh no. It looks like we do have a uh, Iron Devourer to defeat. So, let's look at the strat guy properly. There it is, Iron Devourer. So these are the strats that we should be using for the for this person. So, basically, we want to have someone to the up their cooldown. Uh, you want Rachel to lower their defense and lower their offense. Uh, he automatically lowers their defense as well. And her to protect you from various status effects, uh, specifically paralysis, which keeps you from moving at all. And then, of course, a beater like Shane, Jupy, or Delans. So that's what we're going to do this time. We're going to get this set up right now. I think this is the fight that I was trying to prepare for the first time I tried showing you these videos, and I kind of screwed the pooch there. So, now we can do this correctly. So let's see what we have here. Uh, we're going to use Delans as the beater. Um, let's see. We already have Rachel inside. Let's see. Oh yeah, we need to use... Ace. We'll take out uh, Mr. Spike. Yushin is going to go here. That base pretty much replaces um, Chao since we don't have her. <clears throat> so no Chao. We have Yushin. And we need one more. Rachel Ace. Dylan's. Oh, I remember now. I almost forgot. There we go. Boom, and yeah, that's Ashura. So that's going to be the team right here that we're going to use. Uh, we're going to use this formation that they recommend, which is defense. And we're going to see what happens. This is the fight you should have saw.
So as you can see so far, basically what we're doing here is we're using Great Shield to lower their, you know, stats. We're using Yushin to have the cooldown. Uh, basically have Delans do, you know, his single target, you know, beat down move. And that's basically pretty much what you want to do and let everybody else kind of do whatever they want. We get as much points as you can before you die and hope you don't get paralyzed soon. I forgot that it's your heels. <laughs> I also think this is a pretty cool looking boss, by the way. I would say this is probably one of the more successful fights that I've had in these. <laughs> Unlike the other ones I've shown you so far. <laughs> Oh, things to note too, I have leveled up Rachel recently to 38, so she is a, little, a lot better than she once was. We've already dealt over 500k, by the way. Oh, sure is finally dead. About eight and a half minutes into the fight, and we finally lose someone.
And then the rest of this more or less is uh, <clears throat> pretty much going to be the same rounds of active skills. So if you get tired of looking at this part, you could probably fast forward, I'd say a good... Mm, if I was to make a guess, maybe three or four minutes. Because <laughs> I do plan on also doing a little bit of arena with you guys too once this is finally done. Oh, we're finally starting to die here, okay. You might not have to fast forward. <laughs> Oh, wow. There he goes. He's upset now. Yeah, when they turn that dark color, that's when you know you messed up. Oh, initial point milestone reached. Five-star boss jewel ticket. All right. Basically, you reach 500k points in the world boss easy mode. Okay, well, that's cool. I reached a milestone, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, well, that's the world boss. Um... Apparently I wasn't very patient, but let's see what we got as far as our duel. We got Rage Duel. Basically physical attack and magic attack plus 80. Uh, and then the sub stat is damage plus 18%. Not bad. I don't think I've ever actually had a Rage Duel before, so that should be interesting. It's also something you can buy at the uh, shop that's for the world boss. Um... But let's go ahead and do a little bit of arena here. I think I promised last time that we would do something that involved Kai Kisuke. So I think that's what we're going to do. I did a few fights off screen just to kind of get a few more points here and there. Um, but I do want to show you guys that Kai Kisuke is not terrible. So I'm not going to put him in a bad team. So we're just going to kind of throw him with some of my good people. Uh, we're going to keep the child to get rid of the, you know... Auto revives. We're gonna use Black Rose for the bleeding. Uh, Neza just to, you know, deal damage without having to do anything. And then Delos, who's pretty much the best person I have. Um, now, Kai Kis guy probably should give. Well, he pretty much has almost everything he needs. I think he just needs a red jewel. Let's see if I have a red. Oh, I do have a red jewel. Legendary red jewel. How about that? Boom. Now he's all statted up. He's got, and you know, an actual accessory which is just damage plus 20 percent which is good for him uh we've got him the red jewel that he's gave him that does basically a physical magic attack plus 100 and then block rate and then the green one basically is more damage with more hit points and then up to his defense and crit rate uh, he already has like you know reedy shields and dragon orbs and stuff so he's you know, in, a, in a dell and scythe so he's pretty much equipped uh the only thing I need to do is power up his weapons and items and, and you know, eventually get them to the point to where they're um, at that ultimate stage. I forgot what it's called already when they're all purple. Anyway, we're fighting against Kyle, 23. It's kind of funny. We actually know quite a few Kyles with the group I used to hang out with like maybe 10 years ago. And um, we used to have different names for them. Like we had Hamster Kyle. We had, um, what was the other one? I forgot what we called the other Kyle. We had like names for each of them. Apparently Hamster Kyle was the only one that I cared about it, it seems. Sorry guys. <laughs> There you go. I really, really like Haiki. Like, I really wish I could have got him with 40. That's what I think Seven Knights should do. Is they should do something to where if I do something unreasonable, I can finally, you know, level up my uh, collaborative heroes to 40 instead of just being stuck because I didn't do it in the two weeks we had to do it. Oh, there goes Ichigo. <laughs> yes, there is one more person hiding in the corner over there, but he's not staying alive long. 
But yeah, pretty easy fight there, it seems. And like I said, Kaiakisuke is not bad. He really is. And if you happen to have a Kaiakisuke who's at least 36, I'd say use him in your arena team for a while. Just check him out. He might be good for you. If you have better heroes, then don't waste your time. But I don't mind wasting my time because this is for entertainment value more than anything else. I kind of like Ruri. She's a cute little gunner girl. <laughs> oh, we're going up against Mewtwo Mewtwo. I like how she doesn't got beat up and she goes, my turn. <laughs> We know where to go. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you to Chow. Bye, Gipper Ray. The Chow's really good at getting rid of that auto revive mess. Really, she's probably the best to do it with. Because since it's not an active skill that deals damage. She'll literally not do it until the right moment. It actually kind of helps the whole RNG thing of the arena. That's why I think the child's really good. And her other active skill does piercing damage, so you're always going to be dealing damage uh, with her uh, with her other active. So it looks like we killed their uh, <clears throat> Wukong first. Which means he was only going to get like one copy. I think that was a Wukong we killed. I'm not sure. I didn't see another one, so maybe it was someone else. Oh, that's that new hero, by the way, guys. One in the back right there. I think we briefly talked about him once in an episode. Uh oh. Good night, someone. Didn't even stand a chance. I love it. Yeah, these are fights that I should win mostly. Usually in a. Oh, that's bad guy right there. He's one of the few I didn't get during the collaborating thing. I never got him. Oh, sad about that. Anyway. <clears throat> of these five fights that I'm doing for Arena, I should win at least four of them. Sometimes I can lose in gold rank. Even if I'm trying. Sometimes RNG in this game is nuts. Nope, goodbye, Chris. No, that auto revive crap. Uh oh. I don't know that I've ever actually seen a bad guy fight. So that's why I'm a little bit in awe right now. I mean, he's not doing a whole lot because he's only level 30. So, I mean, there's only so much he can do. <laughs> Goodbye, Fluky. And the next fight against Dark Power. Oh, 
Oh, the arena season's almost over for right now, so after this, it'll probably get gold rewards, and I'm not sure if I'll get demoted back to silver or not, or if I'm going to maintain gold. I hope I can maintain gold so I can hit, you know, diamond and platinum and all that. I think it's platinum then diamond. I think. Oh, the child's asleep, so she's not going to be able to auto-kill this time. That's okay, Black Rose pretty much did it for me. Nice. Are you really weaker than me? Are you? And there was your five fights, we're now up to 1856. And more than likely, the next time you see me do Arena, I'll probably still be in gold unless they demote me for not playing enough. We'll see what happens. And just to kind of show you in the arena, it tells you how much time we have left. But it's like 12 hours and 47 minutes. I'm not going to be playing again because I'll be at work. So, <laughs> uh, yep, the, this pretty much season is over for me at this point. I'm just hoping that I maintain gold in the tier that I'm at. I think I'm on the second tier, so I'm not sure if I maintain or if I demote. But either way, we'll find out next time. But, um, yeah, that was the video for today. Got to see a little bit of uh, Guild War. <clears throat> a little bit of the uh, world boss and of course a little bit of arena you guys take it easy have a good friday